Everyone is okay. okay. We are yet very excited to bring to you uh, Mifos X, a robust core banking application that is purely free, open source, and can run on almost any is can run any almost any institution from big to small. It can also be run on local machine or on cloud. So we find I find it very exciting to bring you this a very new technology. Very many of you have uh, used it and they've been using the older versions. Currently, I'm bringing to you the latest version as of 2023. So let's get started. It's uh, Logging in is just very simple. It's just a matter of supplying the username and password. Then you go straight in. Of course, it comes with uh, quite a number of things for like uh, multiple languages. It has been translated and for whoever wants to contribute, um, you can also you can always contribute currently we are supporting these languages and uh, of course the contribution guidelines are just listed below here the user manual function specifications the developer zone and all our mifos community so for those who want to donate you can also donate to the mifos uh, institution uh, to the mifos initiative uh, your support is highly welcome so let's get started so when you sign in uh, everything is very simple and straightforward. Mifos is really client-centric in a way that uh, you have your keyboard shortcuts just here for those. Of course, some of you are very lazy like me. They want to navigate the system using just a few buttons here and there. Of course, we can have the clients. We have the, you can, as you can see, as you can see, we have the uh, clients, groups, notifications. Uh, some of the most important features on this side are uh, the collection sheet. Of course, we shall see how to use the collection sheet when it comes to group management. And we also have the, uh, individual, col uh, the individual collection sheet, the frequent postings, the journal entries. Of course, uh, frequent postings are a replica of uh, journal entries, much as they are really for the junior accountants or for the repeated postings of any given accountant we shall be making a video when it comes to that drop me a thumbs up if you really want to get this video i'll, sh I'll be sharing a link you know, when i make it so when you look up here in the top bar you'll see the clients it's just uh, the clients clients are a collection uh, sorry it comes from down centers are a collection of groups and groups is a collection of clients when you look at uh, the clients you can see a bunch of clients that we've created of course these are demo clients and uh, groups these groups now have a number of clients that are attached to them as you can see this group has only two members we can always add or remove members um, we shall now see in the centers a center is a collection of groups of course we shall walk through I will walk you through how to add centers and how to manage centers how to manage groups it's very exciting that we have to walk through this whole set. Now, when it comes to accounting, you will now see uh, everything in regards to accounting. I've been getting very many questions on how to use accounts linked to financial services and um, how to post opening balances, accruals, provisioning when it comes to banking, because this is a core banking application. Of course, I would not want to move away without showing you the, uh, the chart of accounts you can add, you can uh, you can uh, make headers, child, child GLs, whatever you want. You, it's totally uh, open for you to customize your chart of accounts the way you want it. Now, when it comes to accounting, of course, we have the closing entries for the accruals and all that. Now, this section now has the reports. Mifos ships with over 100 reports. And of course, there is the uh, manage reports area here in the system, so you it can allow you to add even more reports if you want to, if you know how to script and you write the SQL for, uh, for, uh, for as long as your SQL is very good, definitely you'll get the type of information you would want from the system. Now, when it comes to the admin area, of course, everything you see here is limited by user rights and permissions. Let me just walk you through a sneak peek of uh, the roles and permissions. 
Currently, we're only having two. You can see that we're having a super user having all the uh, roles on the system. But again, you can limit on what roles every person has. As you can see, you can see someone can be able to create client but cannot be able to delete client. Whatever you want, the freedom is all up to you. Now, when it comes to products, you have a bunch of ways to manage loan products, savings products, shares products, charges, rates, collateral management, and everything that you would ever think of when it comes to standard banking procedures. Now, when it comes to the organization, of course, I'm skipping these things um, according to the level of importance. Uh, when it comes to configuration, definitely this is where you set everything in regards to your particular institution. The payment types you're using, the working days, the Taylor cashier management, we shall le look further into this because I've got very many queries on it. And um, we shall also be in position to manage employees, loan provisioning criteria, and all that. So I'm super excited. Up here we have a global search bar whereby we can just go in and type the word like the name of a client. If you only know one, that's wonderful just type in the name of the client and you'll have a list of all clients that have that particular name of course it's more if it's more than 200 entries the system will always warn you about the very big query if uh, you you of course have access to quite a number of things now when it, you can search all you can also search by client by group by savings by loans by shares and, uh, and the notification bar you always have the client the deposit in case you, you can you always get a notification depending on the the type of um, uh, notification you already have in the system when it comes to now the profile page of course you'll have the access to the user menu of which when you click on help you can always it will always take you to the online user menu then the profile page the settings you can always set the date then the sign out button of course we are going to be looking at quite a number of things and i'm super excited to walk you through this i'm going to be releasing a video every after a day or two or three such that we can cover as much as possible thank you very much looking forward to seeing you in my next video bye